Jesus was on this earth, he told a lot of stories. He told wonderful stories. And one of the stories today is, one of the stories he told is the one I'm going to say today, which is about the man who went out and planted seeds. Oh. <laughs> when Jesus was talking to really big crowds, they couldn't see him or hear him very easily if he sat, stayed on the ground. So this time when he told this story about the man who went out and planted seeds, he got into a boat and went out a little bit into the water where he could be up a little bit higher and where he could speak and everybody would hear his voice. So Jesus is in a boat, okay? Now keep this in mind while we tell the story. Okay, guys, hop up out of your chairs. You're going to follow me. I am the, um, I am the person, the farmer, who's going to go plant the seeds. I've got my bag with seeds right here. And in the time when Jesus was on earth, they just walked around and they threw the seed out into the ground. And then it would go down in there and start to grow. But let's come with me and let's talk about what happened this time. The first thing that Jesus told about were, was that the farmer was walking along and he came to some ground and he took the seed out of his bag and he just he threw it out there. Sorry if it lands in anybody's hair. <laughs> but do you know what? There was a problem with this ground where he threw this seed. It was really hard. You stomp your foot, doesn't the ground feel hard? The ground was really hard. And guess what? The birds came along and they saw that seed laying on top of that old hard ground because it wouldn't go down there and they grabbed the seed and they ate it. Victoria, would you get the birds off the table, please? Yeah. Bring them with you. So those old birds, they got that seed that landed on this kind of ground. Okay, come on, you guys. So the farmer kept walking, and he kept throwing out more seed, throwing out more seed, and he came along and threw out some seed on this ground. And guess what? This ground, it had a little bit of dirt on it, but it was mostly filled with rocks. Hey, will you go down and get the rocks? The rocks Hayden off the table. So that ground had just a little bit of dirt in it, but there was a whole lot more rocks. And guess what? The seed that got thrown out there, it couldn't grow very well at all because of too many rocks. Are those rocks soft or hard, Hayden? They're very hard. And if they fall on your toes, that won't feel too good, will it? No. Unless it's behind the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, the farmer kept walking. Come on. The farmer kept walking, and he came and he found some other type of ground, and he threw his seeds out on that ground. Dirt, and he got those seeds out of there 
and he threw those seeds in that dirt. Guess what kind of dirt that was? Oh, that was wonderful, soft, black, nice, smelly dirt. And it was nice and deep. Come here. It was perfect dirt for seed to grow. You want to feel that? Isn't that nice and soft? You can put the rocks back down in here and the bird. And the thorns. Good job. So now... Which kind of dirt would you think would be the best dirt to put a seed in so it'll grow? Absolutely. Do you know later, Jesus' friends who heard him tell this story, they came back to him and they said, oh, Can you explain this story to us? Because we really don't know what it means. And Jesus said, the seed that we were throwing out into the different kinds of dirt, that's the word of God. Amen. All these words in this book are for us. And so Jesus was saying, he told people all the time, listen, listen to what I'm saying. Put your ears on. <coughs> and Jesus said, the word of God needs a good, soft, smelly, black dirt, which is our heart. And the word of God needs to be able to come in there and grow into a wonderful, wonderful person. God has a plan for you, Victoria, for you, Hayden, for you, Olivia. That's a plan for me. And he wants this kind of stuff in us so that we will listen well. And the little seed, see that little seed? If I put it in a big bag of dirt and covered it just a little bit like that and gave it some water, I would get a plant. It would pop up out of that dirt into a beautiful big flower. I have some in my house. What do you think you would want in your heart? Would you want real hard ground where the birds eat up the seeds? No. Would you want a little bit of ground and dirt, but there was lots more rocks? No. Would you like this in your heart? Nice, soft. Yes, and this one wouldn't even let the plant grow. It went, <laughs> and the plant couldn't grow. Jesus said, Satan, the devil comes and he tries to do everything he can to take this away from us. Don't let the word of God be taken away from you. Don't let the devil come and say, oh man. Let's go do something else today. You don't need to go to God's house. Or the devil can say, How are you ever going to go and have good friends at school? They're just going to make fun of you if you say you're a Christian. Just forget about it. <laughs> no, keep the word of God in your heart. I have a little memory verse on this stick. We're going to go out and we're going to put dirt in our pot. And we're going to put seeds in our pot. And the seeds, guess what they are? Look at this. The seeds are forget-me-not. The Bible says, I shall not forget your word. Amen. Not just for kids, but for everybody. Jesus said, Listen and have a heart that will soak up this right here. And I know our kids are doing that on Sunday nights. Amen. On Sunday mornings. So let's all of us 
just have a good, tender, soft day heart to take the seeds of God's word, okay?